We are very excited at Bridge Innovate to have a partnership with the University of Georgia Terry College of Business. Bridge Innovate is a consultancy. Our background comes from our history and big consultancy with Ernst & Young. And 17 years ago, we launched Bridge Innovate uh, as a boutique consultancy to help organizations transform themselves with design thinking and all the other traditional aspects of consulting, big consulting. We've had a great time with that. We help organizations um, imagine new futures and achieve them. And it's been a great uh, partnership with the University of Georgia because they do much of the same thing on the executive education realm. And at this point, I'd like to introduce Dr. Juliet Christie, who, um, and ask her to say hello on behalf of the Terry College. Thank you, Jenny. Welcome, everyone. It's so great to see everyone here and some familiar names um, and alumni. And I just want to, on behalf of UGA, we want to thank Bridge Innovate for partnering with us and for hosting this webinar today. Uh, we'd like to give you a slice of uh, what the program entails and to hear some from some of our former alumni from the program. So we're so happy to have you all here today and we will be available at any time after the webinar of course via email if you have any specific questions or if you'd like to jump on the phone and talk through any other details after learning from Bridge Innovate today. Thank you. Thank you Juliet. So as I noted here on this slide the program that's coming up design thinking is an online sprint program and it's focused on how to engage customers remotely and drive innovation. And as Juliet said, it starts August 4th of this year. So let's continue on. We're also excited to welcome some special guests with us today who are alumni of a previous program. And they'll be sharing with you their perspective of what it's like to be in the online sprint team, solving a real challenge as a part of the learning effort. Yurati and Tommy, if you're with us, would you please say hello? Hello everyone, so happy you were able to join us today. Not so long ago, I was actually where you are, um, listening about this great program and thinking, should I join? And today I'm joining to actually as an alumni of the May program, and so happy to share all the great learnings and feedback from the program itself. So I hope you'll decide to join. Thank you, Yurati, and I uh, appreciate you being here today. I know that Tommy, a senior uh, management consultant at Booz Allen, is planning to join us. He was coming from a client uh, commitment, so he might be running a bit late. So, uh, Tommy, let me know when you're on board, and we'll certainly welcome you officially, but I know he'll be joining us a bit into the program. So with that, we'll continue on. So we'd like to use the Zoom poll, and uh, Colin will go to that in just a moment. I'd like for you to think about how ready are you to mobilize a remote or online customer engagement approach in your organization. So think about mobilizing a remote or online customer engagement capability. How ready are you? If you think about that, one, not being prepared at all, to five, we've got this nailed, how would you respond today to our poll question. Are you um, all set with remote and online customer engagement? Are you exploring new ways to tackle that? If so if you could give me a response, it should be a poll uh, coming up on your screen. One, not at all, all the way to five. I'm really prepared, I've got it nailed. So we'll let Colin uh, take a moment to get everyone's vote uh, on the poll. And then as he uh, finishes that, we'll begin to see the results. Colin, do you want to take us forward with the results? Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and share the results here. What we're seeing is pretty, um, pretty kind of middle of the road as far as some responses. We see some people who are very, uh, very prepared and ready. But as we think about what's to come, I know there's a lot of uncertainty. And we'll actually kind of talk to uh, some of those elements later on today. So uh, we're excited to be able to see these results and hopefully kind of dig into what we can uh, do to move forward from that. So. Uh, with that, I'm actually going to jump in and uh, first off, just introduce myself. My name is Colin Young. I'm a senior consultant at Bridge Innovate, and we're excited to be able to share with you uh, this program and really kind of talk through uh, how this program has developed and the challenge that we're going after. Uh, we're going to dig into a little bit about how design thinking really enables creative problem solving to help tackle some really tough issues. Um, of course, we will talk about the course overview and takeaways so you can have some perspective of what the course uh, would look like and 
and what would I gain from participating in this. Uh, we'll also speak to the remote design thinking platform sprint base, which um, as you know, is, is really gonna be critical for, uh, or we'll learn it will be critical for this uh, program. So we can continue to learn and tackle challenges even if we can't physically come together in the same space. And then we'll wrap up with just a brief, um, brief note about how to enroll in this program. So if I were to jump in and we we're thinking about some of the customer engagement challenges that individuals are facing, we've seen a lot of this kind of go through the, the uh, changes in customer behavior and how consumers are responding to, uh, to the different uh, dynamics in, um, in, their, uh, in their world, in their space. So thinking about um, stocking up on essentials, the shift of influence of the home, travel restrictions. We were just talking about that earlier with Yurati about how travel is, is shifting and adjusting and, and there's still a lot of uncertainty on what that looks like. And, and even just thinking about how shopping as a whole is going to shift. There's even some trends talking about maybe uh, we are, we're seeing the sort of death of the shopping experience as, as we, we used to see it of going to, uh, to the mall to buy something. So when we think about um, moving forward and responding to this, it's really important for us to uh, consider these challenges and figure out a way to move forward with that. So I wanna invite you all um, in this Zoom chat here to kind of share your thoughts. We've talked about some of the customer en engagement challenges that overall um, we are facing, but if you wouldn't mind typing in the chat, what are maybe some uh, challenges that, that you are experiencing as you're going forward thinking about uh, what's next and how do I, um, how do I adapt to, uh, to the, our current environment? All right, so I see keeping customers attention in a virtual collaboration setting. Yes, that's, that's something even just engaging with our customers and, and holding that when, uh, when we're just uh, interfacing with them on a screen. Team prototype builds of 3D products remotely. It's a, it's a big challenge, right? To be able to, to work through those products and create something when we can't physically interact and, and uh, manipulate them. Effectively iterate virtually without losing speed. Yes, yeah, so that's something that hopefully we get a chance to kind of speak to a little bit as we go through in our learning. Um, design thinking, of course, and prototyping, it's a, a big challenge as well. So let's go ahead and move forward here as we think about that. You know, one of the things that we're seeing across, um, across various industries is how to kind of confront and really be proactive in addressing some of these challenges here, how to uh, make, make these shifts to consider uh, really this, not just the individual safety, but also the financial confidence to really uh, translate that into benefits for uh, for a customer. So as we think about um, how organizations are responding and trying to adjust, this is a really great thing for us to consider and, and really is a, is a key sort of um, catalyst for us to jump into this program here. So um, as Jenny mentioned and introduced our program, we are going to be uh, running this uh, design thinking online sprint where we're focusing on driving innovation and engaging customers remotely. Uh, the program will be beginning on August 4th and run through the 25th. And this entire experience will be an online uh, live virtual ex uh, experience for the cohort to go through. Uh, when we think about this program, it's not just a, uh, an opportunity to, uh, to learn design thinking, but also get a chance to apply it. So when we think about taking a step back and consider why, why would we want to invest or, or consider design thinking as a, as a method or practice to really to build that skill. Uh, when we think about uh, the applications of design thinking and the organizations that are using it, you see a lot of very large organizations um, and small ones as well who have really taken this, this idea of how do we create and improve product services experiences that are really focused in on the needs of the user uh, rather than just uh, the idea that comes up, really thinking about the idea of a human-centered, empathy-driven design is really uh, critical when we want to identify some breakthrough innovations. So I wanted to open up um, another, another poll for us. I'll, um, I'll launch that in just a moment, but I wanted to ask the audience here participating, 
what is your level of knowledge of design thinking? If we were to think maybe one to five, one being novice, three being moderate, and five being a veteran. So we'll launch that in just a moment so you have a chance to be able to see uh, what that looks like um, from our participants here. All right, so we're seeing a uh, pretty even spread with, with individuals who are moderately familiar with design thinking. We've got a couple veterans who are joining us as well. Uh, so this gives us a good perspective of um, our individuals and uh, each of you all who are joining here. So when we think about this program in particular, really I'm, I mentioned and in, in introduced it in just a, um, previously, Really the, the goal of or focus of this program is, is threefold. We want to spend some time to really learn and understand design thinking and build that mastery and that capability uh, as a participant. And a lot of that will be supported with instruction and coaching um, by a Bridge Innovate coach. Um, I also mentioned the design thinking platform Sprint Base, which we'll be using to support this program. And so that's something um, that is really beneficial for participants with the resources and the guidance that is um, baked into the platform itself. In addition to learning some of the concepts and the methods of design thinking, we also want to be doing and applying some, uh, some of these learnings really quickly. So we'll be using a challenge that as a, as a cohort we can go after and, and really work together and try and move through from from a, uh, from a question to some prototypes and, uh, and even go through a little bit of testing uh, to get some feedback on that as well. The last piece of this program, of course, is once we've had an opportunity to learn and apply uh, to really reinforce those learnings, we want to provide the opportunity for you to be able to take that forward and, and share that with, with your organization. So part of this program as well is a, uh, a one-year subscription to Sprintbase, which really allows you to continue your learnings long after the cohort has concluded. When we think about some of the takeaways of this program, of course we want to be um, going through and, and deepening our understanding of design thinking, but we also know that there are important skills to be able to, to lead, not just in-person, but virtual design thinking sprints, to lead your team through to uh, go from start to finish. We really want to be able to understand human-centered design, the process, thinking about a broad application, but also going into a specific challenge that can be relatable to you as well. And building those skills to be able to lead as you, as you leave the cohort and take that back to your organization. Uh, one of the great benefits as well to be able to connect into this program is, is to invite some observers into uh, the program to just kind of uh, follow along and see at different points and, and hear kind of the output at the end of the program. And upon completion, um, all of our um, alumni receive a digital badge for Design Thinking Foundations that they can be able to take for credentials as well. And I know we actually have, um, Tommy has just joined us as a guest as well, so I'll ask him to kind of introduce himself and then we'll, we'll actually jump into our first question for our special guest to be able to jump in. But Tommy, would you mind uh, just briefly saying, hey, Hey guys, my name is Tommy Olenichak, and I am a consultant with Booz Allen Hamilton, focusing on public sector clients. Uh, prior to coming into Booz, I'm coming up on my first year uh, here. I was with Westrock and then other manufacturing firms before that. Um, I've got had experience coming into the program with design thinking uh, and learned a lot during the program, so I'm looking forward to sharing out on the panel. Thanks for that intro, Tommy. So when we think about this question here, I do want to ask uh, you and Yurati as well to share what were some of, uh, what, what was your most significant learning during the program? Yurati, you want to go first? Um, thank you, Tommy. Sure, I can go ahead and do that. Um, so only one, it's hard to share because there were so many, but personally for me is how well the design thinking can be applied in your everyday or just a disruptive, disruptive environment trying to address your business and your day challenges. As a digital product manager at IG, I'm continuously striving to enhance my consumer experience as well as to respond to their changing needs. And with being able to apply this framework and for quick and meaningful iterations, um, 
it's actually much easier to build the impactful digital products and to launch them in the market so much quicker. So that was my biggest learning and um, it, it was actually truly eye-opener for me. Tell me back to you. Yeah, so for me, um, in a lot of like market research uh, practices, like one of the things that stands out the most for design thinking with me is the search when you're doing the assessment, like divergent thought, um, how to go after extreme use cases to really identify like the bounds of where you're going to be at in a lot of ways if you're not taught in that and other disciplines um, because there there's the natural pull to aim towards the center and what design thinking teaches you is to look for those extreme users and design for that prototype for that so that if you're meeting their needs it's basically taking care of the center and if you aim for the center it's so amorphous that it can change and you may never really hit the desirability, feasibility, viability that you think you're hitting because it's not as solid as the balance. That's great. Thank you for, for those thoughts, Tommy and Yurati. When we think about this experience, right? So hearing, hearing your, your experience and your takeaways, what would it look like for a participant to go through? And, and so when we think about uh, this program, we see it as a blend of both synchronous and asynchronous virtual sessions using Zoom like we're using right now and Sprint-based, which I've mentioned, and we'll, we'll hear a little bit more about that later. We'll have a series of uh, about 75 minute meetings where we're coming together as a cohort, we're working together and, and going through some, some learning and some teaching as well as some early application. And then there are some individual assignments that fit in and, and help to support our learning. So it allows you to be able to, to sign in around the lunch hour and really um, hear and interact with other individuals, other professionals who are wanting to build this skill, but also to be able to progress, uh, progress through this sprint at your, at your own pace as you're going through and, and complete those individual assignments. Upon conclusion of our cohort, we do have a, a celebration where we have a chance to be able to not just see the, the prototypes that have come out from, from the program, but also to be able to invite other, other team members, other observers to be able to see the progress of going from start to finish. And I know we, we had some really great uh, prototypes and videos that came out uh, during our cohort in May uh, that both Yurati and Tommy had some, some really great ideas that we're going through. So just a really um, great way for us to be able to go through and, and see how we can take a challenge and, and build something, prototype it, and, and even uh, present it in a way that we can get some rapid feedback as well. So when we think about the program timeline, as you see here, uh, we're gonna be starting on the Tuesday of August 4th. We'll be doing some of our program launch. We'll walk through these steps here that you'll see in um, the process of design thinking where we, um, you'll see the double diamond, the divergent and convergent process as we go through. If you're familiar with design thinking, you may have seen um, a five step, a four step, different ways to be able to represent the same process of us going out, seeking inspiration and empathy, focusing down on a specific opportunity and then brainstorming and trying to prototype to be able to to land on a solution that we can take forward. So we will be going through all of that in just a short uh, matter of a few weeks. Um, and you'll see below the cohort sessions, of course, we have some individual assignments where you work through and help to progress in this journey um, so we can um, complete in, in our short amount of time as well. So you may be asking, how are we gonna be able to do this if we're just on Zoom and we're you know, collaborating in this? So I'm actually going to turn it over to my colleague, Mary, and she'll be talking to us a little bit about how SprintBase is supporting this program as well. Great. Thank you, Colin. Hello, everyone. My name is Mary Kim. I'm a senior consultant at Bridge Innovate, and I'll briefly give an overview of the platform SprintBase. So SprintBase is, I would say, one of the unique propositions of the design thinking online Sprint program is that learn and do the application of what you are uh, learning component. 
and we utilize Sprintbase, a virtual design thinking platform to enable collaboration and innovation throughout the process. Sprintbase is built around a structured process, as you saw Colin show the structure of the program um, and workflow. So that helps you get started quickly and apply design thinking with real rigor, which works perfectly with our virtual sprint program. We add our team members, set the challenge, and we are ready to run a remote project right away. So Sprintbase is also packed with guidance, step-by-step -step tips on how to um, utilize design thinking to solve real challenges. So it's easy for newcomers to utilize. And of course, for anyone who's familiar with design thinking, it's a great tool to document and collaborate together. So one of the key benefits I think we don't talk enough about is the ability for an individual to learn and do, which happens in the program, but the ability to teach and scale design thinking to drive innovation within their division and organization. So that's why we're so excited about uh, the platform itself that we use. So one of the things I love to do is, if we go to the next slide, is kind of turn it off to, uh, over to you, Roddy, and Tommy to share uh, from your perspective, how did the platform support the program and your learning of design thinking? Tommy, you want to go first this time? <laughs> sure. So Sprintbase is great because like I've done stuff like this, like ideating, like whiteboarding a lot, right? And it, it's unique in that it allows you, it can reach, it's reachable and approachable uh, from people who've done it to people who are expert in it down to people who have never been exposed to design thinking. And in the way that it moves through the stages and make sure that you're capturing everything so you're not skipping steps either from trying to rush the process and or just missing it because you're new to it, it really brings out how to get it done together collaboratively. Um, you know, this class being delivered in a virtual format even speaks to the strength of the program in itself because we were able to stay <clears throat> in line and deliver minimum viable products throughout and then final prototypes. Um, and I think, you know, expanded, like taking this into work, I would expect it to be as successful as we were in our class. Brody? Um, perfect, Tommy. So just to sort of build up on some of the points that you mentioned, what I think it was amazing it is how truly you can using this uh, sprint-based platform, what a huge enabler that was for all of us. But you know, we came there as a cohort, we didn't really know each other, right? I mean, we met at the program and we were able to actually accomplish and build some great prototypes just in about two weeks by leveraging this platform and following it step by step and using all the resources that it was able to offer us. So um, obviously we had a great coaching from uh, our Bridge Innovate team, which was amazing. But I think for anyone that can start, you guys believe it or not, you will be able to truly apply the design thinking in no time. And Sprint Base was actually really helped us to do that. Great, thank you so much for your insights and sharing your experience on the platform itself. Um, if we go to the next slide, Colin, uh, one of the cool things too, I would say in addition to all the great points that our alumni have shared, is that once you're done, um, Colin shared kind of the show the world component where you get to present the output. Uh, and Tommy mentioned the documentation component. This is what, you know, it's just an example of what a PDF report looks like. It uh, documents your entire innovation journey and it's ready to share with stakeholders and investors who's interested in what you have uncovered. So in a great way to turn ideas into reality. And another component is also the uh, analytics part. So we are wondering when we are working with a team, what are the things that we are learning individually and what we're contributing to? And we are able to quickly see as a team output, what does that look like? How many great ideas did we come up with? How many uh, prototypes did we come up with? In addition to that, we are able to see individual performance to look at, okay, the user centricity, collaboration components, visual thinking, action oriented. Uh, here are things, a few things that the platform will automatically track for us to understand where our strengths are and how we can continue to build our design thinking competency.
Um, and one other case I will just quickly share with you how Sprint Base is being used just because we understand the power of allowing our participants to take this into real application um, is a case with eBay. So eBay actually used Sprint Base in a real case um, and look to reimagine the learning experience for their managers. And I think the key component here is that, of course, it's a corporation just like many of us that you know, we might be working with virtual teams, they of course have teams globally. So they were able to pull the insights together um, and build a sprint team and come up with solutions that it shows here that is now a developed into a test first of its kind gamified virtual development platform completely reimagining the learning experience for their managers. So we want to you know, give that opportunity to our participants to have an understanding of the platform and be able to apply that to real challenges just like eBay did. So just to quickly introduce our team too, what can you expect from our facilitators? Here's our team that will be working with you uh, when you join the program. We have Jenny, who you heard earlier on. We have Colin, who's our program director for Design Thinking Program. And I will be joining the team as well and support you throughout the journey. And we thoroughly enjoy working with all of our participants. So next, um, I believe we have Colin, who's going to help us wrap up in the next few slides. Yes, thanks for that, Mary. So I do have one more question for our special guest here. When you think about this program, how do you feel like it has supported you in your uh, professional and maybe organizational development as well? So I'll go ahead and take that. I need to drop after this, but um, so the program has really helped me. Um, I am currently writing up a proposal for the CDC's Future of Work, where we'll be doing organizational strategy and development. Um, I am going to be owning the operational um, model transformation piece of that. So looking at like 2025 and out to 2030 and beyond, how do we flex the CDC services to external customers? Um, and this is gonna be pretty critical during that five year period. Thank you guys, I'm gonna be dropping, but I'll talk to y'all. Thank you, Tommy. And for me, I think it's also one very important Point to mention that design thinking is not only just methodology and tool, it's truly a mindset. So it's so important to foster that in everything that you do every day. And for us at IEG, this was a great uh, way to propel our research and learnings about uh, how our customer expectations has changed during the COVID. So we obviously were able to take the framework right away and apply it and, um, you know, create some truly meaningful prototypes to test our learnings as well and to see how we would need to shift our digital guest experiences to address these new ways of thinking and new concerns. So truly val valuable and truly instantly applicable to our everyday roles. So thank you for, for this opportunity team. It was really great. Thank you for those comments, Gerardi. Yes, as, so I know we're, we're at time. So I just wanted to kind of wrap up as we think about uh, how to register and any questions that you may have. Of course, we'll, we'll hang out for a little while if you have any questions you'd like to direct to us, but you can register for this program right now. Registration is available going to the uh, Terry College website to be able to um, navigate here to the Design Thinking Online Sprint page. We'll send this out in our post communications to our participants as well. So they have a chance to be able to access the program. But again, our, our program begins on August 4th. We conclude on the 25th. If you have any questions as to uh, the program or anything like that, you can also send in an email to either myself or to um, Dr. Christie here as well. So if there are no other questions, we just want to thank you all for joining and participating. And uh, we hope to see you all soon.